Thursday night of Front Yard Week, everyone is still at the challenge, which saw Team Jimmy beat Team Harry. Well done, team. Woohoo! They're so dirty. Like, they are dirty. <laughs> oh, Sarah's always dirty. No, but, like, oh, yeah. Harry's dirty. And... Yeah, Harry's dirty because he won't finish this one. We deserve to win. Our place looked freaking incredible. Oh, I didn't say upstairs. Theirs wasn't as good as ours. <laughs> Let me get into the winning team. Let me in. We went and sat at Harry's for about an hour. We had a break. We just sat on the in front of the fire. I'm so dejected. We have not won one challenge. Mm. We've tried our best in every challenge. We've I come second you. once, I think. Yeah. Harry and Tash are in the worst financial position of everyone. We can't finish. We're going to go over. And we'll be in the red next week. And whatever money we get next week, we'll go to pay trades. From this we week? Won't... From this week, yeah. We've got the biggest yard. We've got the most plants. We have to fill it, yeah. What are we going to do? Did you choose a 400 kilo grass tree? Of course I did. Never go to pick out exanthrees or grass trees with the contestant, because they're always going to pick the biggest one. We had asked the question about using a crane, and it was a simple no. How are they going to get it in now? Good question! I got home from the challenge, and Jade and I just felt that the boys just didn't get enough done. I'm just working on what I watched yesterday. They did 10 boards and a bit of strapping. We knew that we were a long way behind. I was pretty arky about it. It's just crap that you go away and you have two days taken away from doing the biggest week ever. They think hallway week's big. That's a load of <laughs> Hallway week ain't nothing compared to this week. This is <laughs> bullshit. We've had a delivery of rocks for the Flintstones house. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. I think they thought we were going to move them by hand, but as you can see, they're quite big rocks. We've got the crane in the backyard from P&D. Might go out and have a chat to him. Sounds good. See what they can do. They're already here. How much do you love beer? Yeah, I like it. Very good rock placement. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Get out of here. My job is done. How come he's allowed to crane him? Well, you told me today I need a you know, cancel requirement and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, has house five's got rocks. And now he's getting craned in. Why is he getting craned in? We can't. Um, Jimmy, seeing that there's a crane at the back, had come yeah. and asked us whether he could use it. Yeah. The boys said, yeah, they had a spare hour. They'd come around and lift it for a small fee. Yeah, right. You didn't think to tell me that? I thought we were mates. So you're saying you want a quick lift? Is that OK? If I yes. get you, if I buy you a couple of beers, give you a hug, give you a kiss? Yep. I just look at our house compared to everyone else's and ours just... Oh, yeah, I'm just looking at our house and it actually looks twice as pretty as that one and that one. Oh, my God, I'm in love with next doors. I wish oh, I could have really? next door's house. <laughs> They've got lots of decorative well, stuff going on. What? what have they got? A post? Posters. What are you on about? High gable, double gable. What? Where's that again? I got a call from Shelley and she tasked Tam and myself with finding 10 of the hottest tradies on the block. I was busy thinking about boys, boys, boys. Can we just start lifting people's shirts up or is that inappropriate? Tell you what, Mac has got some guns on him. I'm sorry that I missed your party. <laughs> what about that stud muffin over there? He got gold it's like sugar cane. Check out this guy. You all right, mate? Hey. You're busy. You look busy. Who's that young strapping hey. lad over there? I didn't choose you. That was Tam's decision. Is she? Oh.